One of the things that I wanted to do in Photoshop is automate a few things because I wanted to to do certain uh, things with uh, with my images and in this video I want to show you how you can resize um, how to batch resize images and apply your signature or any other action to a to a to a series of images automatically in Photoshop. So I will show you a few a few things. First, how to create an action with your signature to apply it to your image, and then how to resize the that image and apply the action at the same time and repeat that action to multiple images on a on a folder. So let's see how you can do that. Hey guys, this is Andre from PSD Box. Welcome to another tutorial. So the first thing I'll show you is what I want to do. I have this. Um, I have all these images here. These are from another tutorial. Um, it's already on YouTube and on my website. Um, you'll see a you'll see a window appearing. If you want to go to that tutorial, you can click that. Uh, you can click that and follow that tutorial. Or if you're watching this from my website, uh, you'll see a link. Uh, under the video that will take you to this uh, tutorial and these are all the images that I used for and my goal is uh, let me switch the view you can you can see that the dimensions here are all um, almost random here and for my website I know that my the width the maximum width for the images is uh, 610 pixels so what I want to do is make all these images 610 pixels wide I don't care about the height, just the width. So I want to have them all at 610 uh, pixels. And what I also want to have is embed the logo of my website here on the on the bottom right. And I want to do that automatically without having to open each image in Photoshop. So I want Photoshop to do all of this automatically for me. So uh, how are, are we going to do this? Well, first we need to create an action. So we need to create the action to add the logo here first and we will only do that for one image and then we will automate the process and we'll make Photoshop add that logo to each image and resize it at the same time. So let's let's go back to Photoshop. It's not really difficult, you'll see. We have this empty document and the first thing I'll do is well actually go back to the images folder. I'll open this the first image which is you can start with any image it doesn't really matter so I'll open any image from here it doesn't really matter because I only want to to create the action I don't I will not even save the image so I'll start with this image and I'll create the action f uh, for embedding that um, logo here and for that you need to go to window and select actions and this window will open. I already created this action but I'll do it again and I think I have a folder with my name here, yes here it is and this is the the action that I created, I'll delete it. I have a folder with all the actions that I created myself um, because you can see here I only have the dodge and burn which I use a lot in my tutorials so I'll select this folder, if you don't have a folder with your name it doesn't really matter just click this new layer icon a new action actually and I'll name this um, logo embed or something like that if you want to assign a key to it I want to assign I like to I like keyboard shortcuts and so when I press shift and F2 uh, this action will, will be applied and click record now I already created an, a tutorial about recording actions so if you're if something if there's something here you don't know or if I go too fast just uh, go and watch that uh, tutorial. Um, remember that we're not recording time; we are recording uh, actions here. So you can spend uh, all day long here. You will not record anything if you don't do anything here. So I have the background locked. Now uh, we are recording, and I'll have to go and open that logo. So go to file open and I have the logo saved on my images one thing you need to make sure is that you have the logo on a folder and you don't 
change it from there from that folder or make sure you don't delete it or make sure you don't change the file name because if you do that the action will not work so make sure you place the logo on a folder that uh, you know uh, you will leave it there for future uses so I press ctrl A to select the entire image ctrl X to cut it I'll close the image and I will not save it and paste it here so you can see all of these actions select cut close they're all recorded and I have this logo here now what you can do is use the move tool and drag the logo there but that will cause you a problem because not all images have the same size so if you drag it there if you use a really high resolution image when you apply the action the logo will move just slightly and it will not land right there on the right side where you want it so what you will do instead is use the layer alignment so this is the layer of the of the logo there's no reason to rename that so press and hold the control or command key select both layers and you will see that if you select the move tool this become available so what I want to do is uh, put my logo right here on the bottom right so I'll click this icon and then this one and another problem that I see here is that it's really on the edge so what I will do is select the layer 1 which is the layer of the logo press and hold the shift key and press the up arrow once and the left arrow once again because I want to have some space there I don't want it I want I don't want the logo to be um, uh, right there on the edge I don't like how it looks so you can do this or you can do the same if you want to align it to the top left right or whatever you want to align it and that's it we're good to go all I need to do now is select both layers again and press control or command E to merge them and that's my action now I can press stop and here's my action logo embed and if I press shift F2 it will do the same process again I'll, I'll show you that I just went back in the history and if I press shift and F2 there's my logo everything in just in less than a second so now I can close this image I don't even have to save it because I have my my action saved here now let's resize all of these images and apply the logo to uh, the same way I did with that other image so go to file scripts by the way I'm using Photoshop CS6 and I don't know if this is available in previous versions and go to image uh, processor and this uh, new window opens from the first uh, section here you can uh, you can choose the folder that where you have the images that you want to resize and this is the folder I, that I have if you have other subfolders in there and you want to include those uh, just to check this box here uh, I don't want to check the for open first image to apply settings I don't I don't want that I don't even know exactly what it is for and the second one is the location where you want to save the images you can choose another folder or and if you have subfolders you can keep the same structures but um, I want to save in the same location don't worry it will not overwrite them It'll, it will create a new folder uh, called JPEG in my case I want to save them as JPEGs if you want to save them as PSDs you can do that as I said I want all of them to have 610 pixels so images that are for example 400 pixels will be enlarged to 610 in my case I don't want to mess with the height so I'll set a really high value like um, I don't know 9000 pixels so let's go to the fourth section which is the run action so check this uh, box and from this I want to select my folder which is uh, Andre my name and then in here I have the action that I just created which is logo embed and if I click run um, something happened here let me see what what it was I think I set a height too big
let's leave it to 1000 and uh, also you can set the, the quality uh, let's leave it to 9 and click the run action and now you can see it's doing the same process for every image automatically we will get some errors I think because I also have some some um, GIF files which are indexed you can see here index so make sure all your files are, are JPEG format or PNGs or something like that otherwise this action will not work uh, because you cannot create uh, layers on indexed files so I'll just uh, hit continue and I'll get this errors uh, several times and just wait for the whole process to finish So you can see it's really quick. You don't have to do anything. Just wait for Photoshop to finish the job. Okay, and this is the the error uh, that lets me know that I cannot process GIF files. And I'll click OK. And if I go back to my images folder, you'll see this new new folder has been created which is the JPEG folder and if I open one image first let me change the view to details and check the dimensions and now you can see that all of the images are 610 pixels wide the proportions are uh, uh, constrained so they are not squeezed because I set that really high height value and you can see that the logo is embedded on each image obviously you would need to uh, prepare your images first if you know you have um, like text here and you and you don't want all the logos to be on the right side you just separate the images uh, and apply the logos to some of them on the right and to some of them on the left so you'll have to create several actions but uh, I, I think you got the idea just uh, I just wanted to show you the technique that's how you automate things in Photoshop. That's how you resize images and apply logos automatically. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions or if you got problems with this, just post a comment on YouTube or on my website and I'll try to help you. Until next time, this is Andre from PSD Box. Thank you for watching and see you next time.